Hello guys, did you got any doubt on some basic questions like what is a material, how they are classified, did you got, so let's clarify them. Materials are made up of atoms. Considering one material, one not. So if you look into the material, so this will be made up of atoms like this. This red and blue color balls are considered as a atom and this all atoms are arranged in a systematic manner. So this is how one material is looks inside. Then solid materials are classified based primarily on chemical makeup and atomic structure. That means so these are classified based on the chemistry of that material and the atomic structure. So let's see that. They are metals, polymers, ceramics and composites. As you see on the screen, some basic examples of for metals are gold, copper, silver, iron, aluminum and mercury. For polymers, all the plastic materials like plastic covers, bottles, chairs, all those things. And ceramics, as you see, glasses, tiles, clay materials, ceramic teacups, these are the examples. For composites, concrete, wood, bone and other materials. Basically, composite is mixture of two or more materials. Maybe it may be metal, ceramic and polymer. So, then did you got one more doubt on what are the properties of materials? Now we have seen what is the material and how they are classified, but what are the properties of those materials? So let's go into that. Basically, metals are strong and stiff as like in this video. I am showing all the video clips in this video for a better understanding purpose only, not any other mean. So metals are strong and stiff like this. And ceramics also comparatively strong and stiff. So ceramics also possess a good strength and stiff. Whereas polymers are soft and weak. For example, like in this video, considering this person as a polymer, when compared to and this person as a metal or ceramic. So in comparison to metals and ceramic, polymers are soft and weak in general. Coming to elongation properties, metals are ductile. First of all, ductile means property that can be bend without any fracture. When we apply any force on it, it should bend without any fracture. As we see in this video, our Brahmananda will bend this one. So observe here, when we are applying force on a metal or metal alloys, it is, it is getting bent but not fracture. Then he understood the property of that material. Coming to ceramics, they are brittle. Brittle means when we apply some force, without any breakage, it will break into pieces like this. So this is a ceramic bottle. When it got down on floor, it will get fracture into pieces rather than bending. So this is the property, basic property of ceramic. Coming to polymers, they are extremely ductile as seen in this video clip. That means they have they are more ductile when we apply some force they can elongate more than metals without any fracture then coming to electrical and heat conductivity metals are good conductors of electricity so that is why copper and aluminum wires are used for electric transformations as you see in this video this person is repairing some electric wires when he connect the wires, electricity passes and he get current shock. 
so we can understand that metals are good conductors of electricity and heat by the way humans also good conductor of electricity so be careful when we are doing with electric circuits coming to ceramics ceramics are very low conductors of electricity and heat as you see in this uh, image when a metal plate is attached to electric circuit the light can emit that means electrons can able to pass through the metal but whereas when a ceramic plate is attached in between a circuit electrons will not pass so electricity will not pass so light will not emit so ceramics are a insulating materials rather than conductors whereas polymers polymers also a good uh, uh, insulating material not a conductor of electricity or heat in this video as you see this person wearing the gloves because polymers will not transmit the electricity so we will not get electric shock coming to next one metals in transparency of visible light metals are not transparent when we put a visible light to any metal it will not transmit through it as we see in this video a small example so she is waiting for light and he got an idea he put one aluminum foil to this and he is attaching one light here when we switches on the light it will reflect total light is reflected and it is given to that person so so in this video we can understand that light cannot be transmitted through the metals and one more property we can see when we polish the material light will be reflected like in this video next ceramics are they are transparent like this and they are transparent and they can they are opaque also that means they can transmit the visible light and they are half transmit the visible light like this one we can see some blur glass we can observe something is there beside that glass but clearly we cannot see and you can see ceramic cup here inside what is there we cannot see that means a trans uh, visible light cannot be transmitted through it so ceramic can exhibit all the properties and polymers also same they are transparent translucent and opaque coming to metals in magnetic properties metals are good good in magnetic uh, property that means they have ma good magnetism in fact iron cobalt nickel have very desirable magnetic properties see in this video this all people this is a he is a robo and this robo is made up of uh, metal alloys where he can exhibit a magnetic property all the metal uh, metal things he can attract towards because of the magnetic property and ceramics are non magnetic but some of the ceramic like oxides like fe3o4 hematite they exhibit uh, magnetic property rather in general ceramics are non magnetic in the same uh, video now again for fighting they came to the robot and this time they bought the stones and wood see stone comes under ceramic uh, category so stone is a non magnetic so they bought to fight with a robot a stone so why i am showing this one is to understand ceramics are non magnetic whereas polymers also non magnetic when we put any magnet towards the polymer or any plastic it will not attract okay guys i hope you have enjoyed this video this video is also available in tamil and telugu and the links of those videos given in the description if you like the video please like share comment without forgetting subscribe to our channel